I am down in a secret location. I'm not going to say the name of the place, although most of you know what it is, because I don't want to preempt it because we don't actually have it officially with us. We had a, a break-in down here. It wasn't that secure, the building anyway. However, um, I mean, the back door here was just, was just, uh, it was just screwed shut. So someone had been in and they've taken the, the wood burner out from under the, out of the fireplace and disconnected it from the, from the flue. And uh, yeah, so that's not good. So I've secured the door a bit there, big padlock on it. I hid, I hid the door to the wood burning stove, which kind of renders it a bit useless as a wood burning stove. I can maybe keep books in it or something, but so, and I'm down again just to check that everything is as I left it, and and as the doors secure, the two front doors are also secure. They're barricaded from the inside. Yeah, so so far so good. Just having a quick walk round. So the outside of this building is very overgrown. There's an awful lot of slates on the ground here that have come off the roof. That still needs to be fixed. That's going to be the major bit of work and expenditure. So I'm just going to strim a wee bit. And uh, the idea is, is to make it look a bit looked after. And that way if people do come down, they can maybe see that it's, it's not abandoned. So I've strimmed the road. Looks good. It's very well defined. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but... There we go, very neat. This isn't actually what this video is about, by the way. This video is about a quintessentially scouty activity. I know I said that we're not massively a scouty at Longridge, but we do do lots of scouty stuff. And okay, we might not give out badges for it, but be in no doubt, you, you, you do qualify for them. So Another thing that I've never done in my entire life is create fire by rubbing two sticks together. Something that Baden Powell would probably be horrified to learn about such a long serving professional scouter such as myself. So that's what we're going to do. I was out yesterday, I went on YouTube because that's what we do these days and I needed to find some an, an elder tree, get some wood from an elder tree, that's hardwood, and I needed to find some wood from a wild clematis which proved to be a wee bit more difficult, that's softwood. And somehow by taking a firm grip of that wood and rubbing it together, fire starts. And there will be a great, a great conflagration, apparently. I mean, what we I mean, the sponge I think was an ad there. The sponge was a low point, so this is the only way is up, really. Surely, you know, back up the road. I'm in Butterdean Wood now, and I'm looking for wild clematis, and there's lots of it around. I'm fairly sure this is wild clematis, but it's not big enough. I need to get a sizeable chunk of wild clematis wood to drill into with the elder sticks that I picked up in Gosford Woods. I actually had one growing outside my house, which I chopped down a couple of years ago and burnt, so ironically, with a match and petrol. I've lost all track of time. I'm still in Butterdean Wood and I seem to have walked about a million miles. I'm not lost. A scout leader never gets lost. They just become temporarily unaware of where they are in relation to anything else on the planet. I don't even know if I'm still in Butterdean Woods. My main concern is getting out of these woods because I'm thirsty. I won't starve because I had a, I had like a mint magnum on the way here, so I, I feel, I don't really feel that I'll starve, but, hmm. If in a few years time somebody finds this camera in the woods next to some bleached bones, please just, just let people know who I was and that 
I was a good person. I can't remember which way I was walking. I think, it, I think that might be a vulture. We're back in the hall and we're going to do the whole rubbing two sticks together thing. Now, it's really important that before you even start, you get your hands on the right kind of wood. If you don't have the right kind of wood, you will make what is already an impossible task, probably completely impossible. I've read up, looked at YouTube videos, and some say you need hardwood for your drill, this is the, the drill, and softwood for your, your hearth piece, which is what you drill into. Uh, and others say you, it doesn't matter, it just needs to be softwood. I don't know. My Midget Gem SES Survival Guide says hardwood and softwood. Some guy, quite a handsome looking fella on the internet, they usually are, aren't they? Uh, says that you need softwood and softwood. He says if you can push your nail into it, leave an indentation in that softwood. I've got some wood. It's over there. Uh, some elder, which I've probably told you about, and I think some hawthorn. I couldn't find any wild clematis. Mm, wild clematis. Don't even know what that is. Uh, so I got some. I, I, I found a hawthorn bush. Savaged it. Let's see what happens. Now I'm not. We're looking at it, but I'm not going to show you me whittling it, because you know how to whittle things. But I'll show you the start of it, and then I'll show you what, it, what I turned it into. This is our Eldar. These are going to be our drills. This is our bit of Hawthorn. I think it's Hawthorn. And I'm going to have to chop that up and make it into our hearth piece. So I'm just going to tidy these up, and then whoo, flames everywhere. Whole, the whole place is going to go up. It will be amazing. Maybe. Probably about as amazing as that cake last week. It's a low, it's a low bar we're working to this week. I have my baseboard here. This is uh, so I've chopped a log, split it, and I have this kind of baseboard here. And in the baseboard, and I hold it up to my face, I've got this this hole, which is where the stick will go into and rotate. And then there's a notch here. And the idea is, as best as I can gather it, is that in the notch. Uh, the embers, the, 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 the super hot dust from the friction of the spinning will collect and eventually it'll amalgamate into an ember. Hmm. There's three ways to do this. There's a, there's a trough method which is where you get a bit of wood like this and you dig a, you cut a trough and you rub the wood back and forth like this until you get smoke in an ember. Or there's a hand drill which is where you you, you have your, your hole there, and you put your wood in the hole, and you you spin it, and you use your hand hands to spin the wood. The other one is a, a bow drill, which is where you get a piece of wood and a bit of string, and I'll show that in a wee minute, but I'm going to try the hand drill method first. Right, I've just checked on one of the YouTube videos that I, that I looked at there, and, and he definitely said Elder. But the thing about Elder is, did you know, it's also known as the Devil's Tree because I'm going to hold it, I'm sorry for the extreme close-up of this camera, the, the focus on it is, see how the, in the Elder it's got a lighter kind of internal pulp, I think that's what you call it. You can actually dig that out and the reason that they used to call it the devil's, a Devil Tree was because the devil planted them all, no that's not true was because you could dig that out and you could use it with a bellows. So you could put one end into the fire and it would be hot and you would be able to blow through the wood and, um, and get your fire going. Also, or so I learned, uh, you can, they used to plant elder trees outside houses because they're smelly and it keeps flies away. You also have to put downward pressure on the, on the stick so that it actually builds friction. Let this be a lesson to anyone that's interested that it's just a lot easier to take matches. And 
and a lighter. It's not that I can't be bothered, it's just that I can't be bothered. No, that's not true. We're going to take a shortcut with this. I'm going to show you how to do, do it with a bow, a bow drill. Hand drill and then there's a bow drill. Instead of like having to wait like a month to get some embers out of that, maybe only be a fortnight. So it's just a really terrible way to, to make for either wonder we've never done it before. It's rubbish. I can't actually be in that position for too long, my knees just, I'm too old, I'm, I'm just too old. But I'm going to try again with the bow drill. Uh, the bow drill basically, instead of using your hands, as you saw, you have this. And the stick wraps round, so as you go back and forth, you can see the, this. That's how it's supposed to work, but to be honest, it's, do you know, it's one of these things that, you see it on like the television, Ray Mears and all these other people that can find moisture in deserts and get sustenance out of reindeer jobbies and whatnot. And they must just like have such a lot of preparation. And to be fair, if you're in the countryside, there's nothing else to do. So you'll have time, but seriously, it's a lot easier if you've just got a box of matches. This isn't like a patience thing with me. This is purely down to I cannot be down in that position for 10 minutes, otherwise I will never be able to stand up again. It's just old age. Don't, I mean, you mock. I, I know you're sitting there going, oh, you're such an old fart. But, but in, in 30 years time, this is where you'll be. But that's just, and, don't, and, and there's no point in saying, I'll never be that unfit, because when I was your age, I said exactly the same thing. And look at me. I wish I could just cheat and just like, to see that I lit a fire, to get away with that. Hmm. I could, I could create the, the most glorious fire ever, and you won't believe me, you'll just think that I, I cheated. If I do manage to do this, well, it won't matter. That's annoying. So this is me still doing the hand drill technique. It turns out the bow drill technique is even harder to get this tension, the stick and the tension just right so it actually grips it enough to turn it, otherwise it, it just doesn't turn it. This is a terrible idea. Whose idea was this? Starting a fire by rubbing two sticks together is... Do you know, there's all these folk that, that can do it, these bushcraft experts, and that's totally fine. And I dare say if you were really up against it, you could probably figure something out, but... Just break into someone's house. I mean, there's lots of Airbnbs and they're... If they're empty... I'm only joking, don't break into people's houses, but... Starting a fire with two sticks is, is, is hard. Now... I'm old and I can't sit in that position for long enough to, you know, I'm sure there's easier ways to do it. You, you know, the whole bow thing, I thought that would be quite easy, but that's not easy either. None of it's easy. Just have matches and a lighter. That's all I would say. I feel like a failure. I mean, the cake last week and now this. 
I'm going to have to go and raid the tuck shop again because just to cheer myself up, I think there's some lamb bars left. Maybe a maybe a Fredo in there as well. I could have. I think I've eaten all the Fredos. Mm. Oh, I've eaten all the Fredos. I can't even get a Fredo. Can't make a cake. Can't make fire by rubbing sticks together. And there's no Fredos. You're far more likely to die of just irritation than like, I don't know, hypothermia or starvation. Your hands will just fall off. Or a bear will sneak up behind you <laughs> and die of laughter. <laughs> You've been doing this all day. I could have walked home. Jesus. That's a really annoying noise as well. My right leg's going to sleep. <laughs>